What's up? How you doing? ITL? Oh, gosh, it's been such, what's it been like seven or eight year hiatus for ITL, Will? Uh, in case you're new to the show, which a lot of you are, and I really appreciate that, uh, Into the Lair is what we call this segment. Herb came up with that idea. I, I think it's a great, uh, great title, Into the Lair. And then once you've been watching the show a few, uh, few minutes, you'll, you'll get used to the ITL concept. But, uh, oh, look at this. Hey, guys, you know what this is? Can you see that, Will? My good friend Cliff Mogg, M-A-A-G, Cliff Mogg with Mogg, M-A-A-G, audio, sent me this the other day, and I've just fallen in love with it. It's a, um, a 500 series um, mic pre. It's just, it just sparkles. They're some of the top-of-the-line preamps in terms of clarity and stuff. Check, check, check Cliff's website out, uh, Mog Audio, M-A-A-G. Uh, he's a good cat, somebody we ought to support. So I was talking to Jason Joshua yesterday, and Jay, uh, I always learn when I talk to Jay. We were talking about uh, the JJP episode, and we were talking about compression and stuff. And um, I was telling him I was going to film a ITL, a new ITL, another one today, and he was like, "Man, y'all, y'all talk about um, side chaining." And I thought, mm, "That's kind of boring." But then I started thinking about it and thought, "Man, I, I th- I'm, I'm going to show you guys some stuff. Uh, it has much broader, broader applications." As Jay pointed it out to me, here comes my assistant engineer right now. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. Okay, check this out. I've got a kick drum and a bass going. And um, so my, my kick drum. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put um, Renaissance compressor on the bass track. We're going to take and, and tell the uh, compressor to get its information from uh, bus six. <clears throat> so bus six. And then we're going to take the kick drum. I've duplicated the kick drum so just for this so that I can send it to nowhere. I'm sending it to nowhere. And then I'm sending bus six from that, that kick drum and letting the kick drum influence the side chain. So. Uh, I've got this thing uh, solo isolated. Okay, let's listen. I want you to focus on on the kick. Okay. Now bring this in. Now the kick didn't go up in volume. The bass is dropping and and. And a little bit in volume, but mostly what the bass is doing is it's 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 not, it, the compressor is actually taking off a little bit of the low end. Hear the hear the low end kind of kind of go away. It drops about a half a dB. Uh, we can make it drop more if we want. Now, let's see what happens. I'm gonna exaggerate the threshold. Now let's try. Let's see what happens if we shorten the release. That gives us one kind of vibe, like Jack Joseph said, long. So you see, you see, like, dun, dun, gives us one kind of feel. And that gives us another kind of feel. This was kind of what I kind of 
kind of light. Uh, now the attack is, 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 watch. Let me exaggerate it again for you. Okay, now those two factors are going to determine your, your rhythm. Okay? Now, Will's going to stop for just a second. I'm going to, I'm going to put it in, in the track so you can kind of get a feel for what it's doing. Okay, let me show you a section. This is a section here in the song where uh, it's okay. we, 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 we probably wouldn't, we probably aren't really that concerned about the bass, you know. Actually, I just started on this song, so a lot of a lot of the parts you're not hearing. But um, I just I just really was kind of excited about showing this to you. Now, when we get to the chorus, let's let's put the kick in. Okay, this is without it. See what I'm saying? It, it makes you feel like the kick got louder when when the bass goes down because the bass isn't covering up the low frequencies from the low frequencies from the kick. Uh, I, I, a lot of you guys are kind of confused about how to dovetail the different frequencies at the bottom end, and one one of the ways is just let somebody win the battle. So in this case, we're letting the uh, the kick drum win the battle. Um, but that's a good use of um, of sidechain compression, and that's the same exact technique that that you can use in in, in like uh, dance music, like some of David Guetta's stuff. I hear a lot of a lot of side chaining. Um, it's a great technique. You can you, in 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 some rock circles, what 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 you do is something very similar. But but in some rock circles, we call it ducking, where you'll take the compressor. And, and do the opposite so that the compressor is controlling the level of the guitar and every time and you and you feed the vocal into the side chain so what happens is when the guitar, when the vocal is going the 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 compressor ducks the guitar for you a preset amount and then when the vocal stops the guitar rises um, at a certain rate and, and, and so it saves you from having to ride the level of the guitar. In that case, we call it ducking. I guess um, it's not as popular as, as side chaining, but it's the same concept. If you look at some of the analog gear from the 60s and 70s, they actually have a ducking feature on a lot of them. But you can do the same thing with, 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 with what we're doing now. All right. I, I want to show you a couple of things. I got some new pieces of gear I thought I'd share with you. While we're uh, we're loosely jumping around, I mentioned the low end. Let me solo something for you real quick here. Here's the kick drum. Let me, let me get a good little spot here. I wanted to add. Okay. Now check this out. I just got this from Waves today. This is the new MPX. Subtle but good, huh? Pretty cool. It just it just adds a nice round bottom end. Uh, you could EQ this in, but but there's there's so many other factors involved. It's it's emulating the way it's hitting tape, and so there's there's a compression component. There's an increased harmonic component. There's um, uh, almost like an equalizer, you know, component. But I, I I put this on today and I messed with it a little bit and really liked it. In fact, I liked it so much I think I'm gonna save it. I wonder if it uses more electricity when the when the reels are turning or not. Anyway, pretty cool piece of 
Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then, and then uh, my buddy Stephen Slate, uh, this little blue kick, we're, we're not listening to that. That's just what we're using to send to bus six. I felt like on this song, um, we could, uh, uh, I ripped off a sample from uh, uh, one of David Guetta's songs. And um, I added that, watch this, without it, with it. Might have gone nuts. This little, this little equalizer, they're hard to find. I don't even think they make it anymore. Man, I love the low end on this. <laughs> 